it only took four days to get to this point. Hey y'all, welcome back to Homestead to Health. My name is Caitlin and I'm still here. I'm very much still here. I took a garden tour, which I hope you see before you see this video. But I took a garden tour and it's about 43 minutes long. I didn't even get to put everything that I wanted to put into my video, into the video. And I've just been having the absolute worst time trying to get this video uploaded. Um, between, honestly, just me not being very tech savvy, we have the slowest internet. There are people out in the middle of caves, up in like nowhere Alaska that have, I'm assuming, better internet than we do. Our internet is just terrible. But anyway, so hopefully today is uh, my lucky day. It seems like it's still going. It's just taking forever at this point. Uh, it says it has two hours left, but it's been saying that for four hours. A couple of hours later, maybe like one or two percent higher. And then here, it says like, this is the video I'm trying to upload. And it says processing abandoned video failed to upload. And it's been saying that. And then now it's switching back and forth. And I'm using my mobile hotspot because my internet was, is just so shoddy that I'm trying to do it this way. So fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed that this actually uploads. I'm getting very frustrated. But I've actually been pretty busy. I've been busy doing things around here, cleaning up. Um, today I told myself, like, you're gonna sit inside. You're gonna, you're gonna rest. Today is Sunday. It's the day of rest. Do it. Um, but I have. I've been, like, really busy. I'm anticipating some company soon. And honestly, I've just been having all this nervous energy and, like, insomnia and stuff lately. So, I've kind of come to this weird point where I really don't have anything outside that's really pressing. And it's so strange to me. I mean, there's always something that I can do out there. There's always something I can do in the garden or whatever. But like, I just, I've done it all, man. I've been, I've been busting my tail. I've been working really hard. Um, even the inside of my house is clean right now, except for the laundry, always the laundry. But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm at a pretty good place. It was really great to wake up this morning and not feel that sense of urgency. like. I gotta get up and I gotta do this and I gotta knock all these uh, things down but that being said there's always something to do there's always something going on and I can't wait to show you what's happening outside it's oh. stuck right here. I know it's stuck right there let me see yep there's a lizard stuck in your hair yeah it feeds like on my hair like this yeah <laughs> and I want to get out uh, mama, mama will help you, okay? Look! It's there! I did it! <laughs> that was uh, that was an all-day fiasco for me. Actually, that was an all-four-day fiasco for me, technically. I'm going to get the baby dressed. Uh, we're going to go outside. I'm going to show you all what I've been up to. And it's just... I know... It's just wild because um, it's taken four days to get this vlog up. So that means it's been four days since I've done my garden tour and I've shown you all the garden. So even since then, things have happened in the garden. <laughs> and so uh, I don't know what the issue was. I hope I don't face it again. But just know that that garden tour is like 45 minutes long. Um, but honestly, I expected it to be pretty long because it's the initial tour and it was me explaining like why I was growing, what I was growing. Um, in the future, I don't see those uh, tours being that long because it's more of like an update than an introduction. I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm clarifying that well. I wanted to talk about something that I thought was pretty neat that maybe many of you don't really know about me. So I actually run a small side business where I do embroideries, custom embroideries for people. Um, typically I do ultrasound embroideries so people will send me images of their ultrasound and I stitch it. However, because of the recent pandemic, I haven't been able to take orders um, because as you can imagine, whenever you're putting the, the thread through the needle, you have to like lick it, and, or you don't have to, but I do, I lick it, and I'm very personal with it, and so I haven't been able to take orders, um, which I'm actually going to be starting uh, taking orders again this week. I have one thing that I have to complete, but in the meantime of not being able to take orders, I actually was able to start and finish a pleasure piece, and I want to share that with you. It's a summer wreath. <laughs> Are y'all ready to go outside? 
Yeah? Can I bring my cowboy outside? Yes, you may. Well, in like the four day uh, time period, some new things have happened. We had a chicken go broody right at Mother's Day and her chicks hatched. Here they are, and a much bigger brooder. So the three-year-old and I are gonna be walking around uh, doing chores. No, hey, we'll get eggs in just a second. Come with mama. Um, so yeah, we have new chicks, which is awesome. So we've had chicks before, but this is the first time that we have hatched out some here at our own little small farm. Can you tell it's dinner time? I'm being hollered at. So this is Daphne, the white goat, and Daphne and I both sensed something weird, and it took me a couple of seconds, but I definitely saw it, and I'm waiting for it. There's a snake under their house, or under their housing area. I was not able to get uh, footage of that, um, though it was very exciting, a little sweaty. Um, I went in there with a T-post, and I was lifting up the bottom of their beds and stuff, and a bunch of mice came out, so I see why there would be a snake there. But, uh, holy cow, I got to see its back, and I, I'm going to go see later what kind of snake that is online, because um, I've saved it to memory at this point. I decided to let that um, particular snake live, um, because it was not a copperhead. But right now, at the stage my kids are at, I just every snake is a bad snake, so I had them come to me really quick, and uh, I, went to, I went to beating at it. The snake came out, I, like I said, I saw it. I know, I know that I can identify that snake later. But the reason I let that snake live is because I don't really feel like it's a threat to my goats as much as it's a threat to the mice that have been pestering my goats. And um, there's a type of black snake, and that's the kind of snake that was over here, but it had like a particular print on it. Um, there's a kind of black snake that lives over here that actually eats copperheads. And so definitely, definitely a farm friend. So even though you're, they're ugly, you kind of have to discern between what snake is a good snake and what snake is a bad snake. And I gotta tell you, that's probably one of my least favorite parts about this whole lifestyle. <laughs> but I'm gonna continue on. So something that I also didn't get to capture because my computer was tied up, was that I came through, my pig smelled so bad. And it had been rainy and gross, and it just it, it seemed like that smell was never going to go away. But I used pine shavings, and pine shavings not only helped to dry it up a little quicker, but they really did like absorb all of those smells. Now, pine, pine, bleh, now pine shavings are uh, the same thing that I use in my chicken coop. So I don't know why it didn't make sense to me earlier. But y'all, I have a problem I need your help with. Now, I'm not sure if y'all can see this, but maybe you can hear it. We have a pretty extreme fly problem. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. But we have a pretty extreme uh, fly problem, and we've done what we thought we could do, um, but, I mean, they're just everywhere, and they're getting in the house. And usually around this time, flies are bad anyway, but they, because of the pigs, are just extra bad this year. I have one bothering me right now. So if y'all have any idea on how to get rid of flies, I would love to hear that. What you got going on, baby? Is that your gnome? Is that your gnomey? Great. <laughs> wow, look how much the buckwheat itself has grown since that four day lapse. That's wild. So I, uh, definitely without a doubt, I think the most surprising thing that I'm growing in my gardens this year is a king size mattress. <laughs> So this week it was a huge blessing that we were finally able to replace our old dirty mattress and get a new mattress. Uh, I, at 28 years old and 35 years old, we've never in our lives slept on a brand new mattress. And so I think that we have officially reached adulthood. Uh, but the reason it's there and it'll stay there until Richard gets home, um, I'm strong but I'm tired <laughs> and so I, I threw that out the back door and that was good enough for me and it'll be good enough for the next week or two before we can do something else with it. Other than that though, the only thing that's really been happening this past four days 
is just the normal stuff. Me mowing the lawn, me taking care of the garden and the kids and the house and well, I went to a birthday party and life just rolls on whether the camera is rolling or not. Probably the most exciting thing though that's happened this week is that our plums on our plum tree have started to be able to be harvested. So I've got like a basket of plums and every day I go out there and if the green plum has a little bit of blush to it, I go ahead and I pick it because if not, the stink bugs will get to it and I want it before they have it, so. What are those? Plums. Let me see if a bug bit this one. Nope. A little bit on the bottom. See, you see how that juice came out? Whoa! <laughs> I'm drinking. No, Mama will find you one that the uh, bugs didn't get to yet. Let me see. Nope, bugs got to that one. I can't run. I can't run. <laughs> You're so much faster than me. I can't run. Whoa, look at her go. I can't. Honestly, and I'm not exaggerating, the four days it took between up, uh, capturing all of that and then today, uh, my garden has grown significantly. Tomorrow I really need to get in here and I need to start training some more of my tomatoes up and my melons and stuff that are on the back trellis. Uh, it's going to take some work, but everything is growing. Everything is looking really, really good. This is one of the tall babies. You see, I started training it there when it was still little. And it's grown some, so I need to come through and prune off some suckers and get it trained up. And my green plums. Yeah? Let me see. Thank you. Wow, did you get that off the tree or off the ground? Um, tree. Wow. Not the floor, just the tree. You did a great job. Thank you. You want to hold those for me? Yeah. Thank you. They are. Don't pick them. Don't pick them. They're still too little. Um, actually, most of my uh, tomatoes have some kind of fruit. Old tomato varieties have some kind of fruit on it. Hey, where'd you get a sharpie from? I get a sharpie. What you writing? Um, letters. Letters. Mm -hmm. Okay, be careful. Y'all look at this blossom. Look how wild this is. Pick it. God bless you. So, God bless you. This blossom has like four or five centers to it. So whatever tomato would come off of this would be extremely mutated. <laughs> Look at my tomatoes. Yeah, you should use those scissors to cut it. Good job, now hand mama her scissors. Wow, do you love that flower? Yeah, it has but the little flowers inside here. Yeah. I left my toddler unattended with a sharpie like a lunatic. Well, hey, what's that? Oh, you drew it for me? Huh? Thank you, I appreciate that. How about me? You want it back? Uh-huh. You can color in the house, okay? If you missed my garden tour, I definitely encourage you to go watch it. Uh, lengthy, yeah, but honestly, I explain what my best growing peppers have been so far, my uh, fastest growing tomatoes, and everything like that. Actually, I'm awaiting some tomato, tomato babies right now. I'm so very close to having my first tomato of the year, and I'm super excited. You know, come to think of it, I thought that today was going to be like a day of rest, and I was going to chill, and I did. Today felt pretty restful, but... Even restful days around here are pretty exciting. Sometimes I kind of like go through this internal battle of like who would want to watch me? Who would want to care about my life? And then, you know, there's a snake in the goat pen and there's a lizard caught in your hair. But thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today. Thank y'all so much for being patient with me as I upload videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll see y'all later.